We're going to talk to Melissa Melendez joining us now after finishing her term in the state Senate serving the 28th district. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how's the new job? You are the president of the Golden State Policy Council. What's that about? I am. Thanks for having me on, Rafer. So the Golden State Policy Council it is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization where we do academic research. Our whole goal is to change policy in California. We don't introduce bills, obviously, but we come up with the policy changes, present those to legislators who are willing to listen and engage. And then, of course, those legislators would turn that into a bill. But our, our mission is to make California uh, you know, more affordable, better quality of life for Californians, because there are so many groups that I have seen in my time in legislature that come in and out of the Capitol, um, talking to legislators, pushing for particular pieces of policy, but they're very specific about who they are representing. They have, you know, a particular client that they're representing. And for us, our organization, our clients are the people of California. We want to make sure that, you know, it is affordable to live here. We want to make sure there's a high quality of life. And the only way you can do that is to make sure the policies coming out of that building um, make it so for the Californians who are here. We don't want any more people leaving. We want people to stay. We want to go back to the way it used to be, which is people flocking to California because this used to be the place to be. You said something that uh, I think sounds really great if you can pull it off. Getting politicians <laughs> to listen. I, I mean, I heard it and it sounded, you know, it sounds well intended. How do you do that? Yeah, so um, I know it sounds a bit lofty, but I will tell you, we are modeled after the Texas Public Poly Policy Foundation, which is now in Austin, Texas. They started about 25 years ago. One of our board members is former state assemblyman here in California, Chuck DeVore. He's now with the Texas Public Policy Foundation. And they did this exact same thing in Texas. You know, they started off, they were small, and now they have, you know, I think 120 employees, a beautiful new building, and they are moving policy in the state of Texas. It can work, um, but again, we are nonpartisan. So this, we don't get involved in political campaigns. We don't get involved in any of that. This is purely about policy. And I think that's the way, you know, you do. You, you have to work from the outside of the building in as well. And and I think there are a lot of, you know, legislators in both parties who are interested in hearing the ideas that that make their constituents happy. It's just when you're in that building, right. sometimes it's very hard to listen to the other side. Well, and you're very well respected, and I and I think that you you rattled off a bunch of names that you're right. That's gonna you're gonna get people's attention with that. I mean, you have been a voice for American conservatives in in the state of California. We've got the Democratic uh, majority in there. Um, a lot of your policies might seem to challenge some of their policies and and, and their ideas. So, what how is it different now being in a nonpartisan group, you know, being from a, a, a private group as opposed to actually being a, on the other side of the aisle? What's the nature and the dynamic of that communication? Like how is it different now that you're not actually across the aisle going head to head? Now you're kind of side by side and going, "You know what? This really would be a good idea." Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, it's it's very different. You're not duking it out every day. You're not doing battle and trying to, you know, squash the other one's ideas. But the, it's different in that, you know, I think most people, regardless of their party, are generally willing to listen to good ideas that benefit their constituents, which ultimately benefits them. So the whole, you know, the point behind it is to present it in a way where you have the facts, you have the data, you have the research. It's not hyperbole. It's not, you know, political talking points. It's just, here are the facts. This is why this works. This is where it works. And this is why your constituents are going to be very happy about this. And when you present it that way, in just a pragmatic approach, and I'm not coming at them, you know, as a legislator anymore, then I, I just think it softens the conversation a bit to where people are a little more open-minded. It's not going to be, you know, overnight, everyone says, oh, let's take up every policy, you know, that Golden State Policy Council proposes. I don't think it's going to be like that it you know it does take some time but there again there is there's no group in california who's who's going to legislators who's testifying in committee hearings who's getting the grassroots engaged who is you know solely just for californians regardless of your party and regardless of whatever it issue issue it is you care about um it's just you know like i said our clients are the people of california 
Well, Melissa, you're you're clearly very passionate about this state and, and having good being done here. Much respect to you. I'm sure you could go do a lot of things, but you're still out there fighting the good fight <laughs> on behalf of Californians. We appreciate you, and thank you for joining us here on Good Evening San Diego. Thanks so much, Rafer. Appreciate it.